Welcome again to another OK, 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 OK Daily Doodle. Today I'm going to be coloring the goddess of fertility Astarte. Uh, yesterday we inked her and now I'm coloring her. Uh, this is a pre-recorded session because I've got to go out of town for uh, medical reasons. But um, you can see here I went ahead and added a color layer. This is flat color. Uh, I've gone ahead and added a kind of a a layer to show where I want the lights and darks to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this flat layer color. We want to keep that layer um, invisible so I won't ever alter it on accident. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the ink layer. I'm going to lock it because I can't turn it invisible. And now we're going to start coloring. And um, this is going to be an underlit. Uh, subject since we want the belly to be uh, really the light source down here and go a little more blue there we go you see the light source will be kind of shining off I'm touching my screen but you can't really see that <laughs> okay um, so oh wait this is underlit so we're gonna do the opposite of that the forehead is dark and it runs down to the nose. We're going to turn some softer brush on. The underside of the nose is lit. And the cheeks uh, are dark until they get to the bottom. And we're going to really show the smile by arching this uh, uh, this shadow line okay let's see I'm gonna turn on uh, an airbrush to kind of soften this cheek line Soften this line too a little bit. Okay, moving on. We get to the top of her arm. I'm gonna darken that down there. So let's trying to imagine what what this lighting is gonna look like. Um, so her fist will be uh, lit up, and then get in like a half light going on here. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about doing a line there, but I don't know if I want to do it. I might do a halfway, so that's. Like, uh, we're gonna curve it. That helps separate this arm from the background, but at the same time, it doesn't make it look like we're destroying that underlit effect. All right, so I'm gonna airbrush once this arm starts receding back, so it'll feel like it's going into the background. That looks good. I'm going to airbrush their body back here just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a tint. And I think I want to soften this line up here too. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off so we don't get confused. Um, that's a little too much. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll pull that up just so we can make sure we know that's a separation there. Uh, sometimes when you're coloring, it helps to uh, kind of make the ink lines, uh, but uh, you're using a darker color instead of ink. It helps for um, 
softer edges usually like the, the nose or like these ab lines if you do it in ink it looks uh, a little too harsh but if you do it in color it doesn't look that bad it looks more natural all right so we've got light coming from here to here so it's going to cast a shadow up on here and it's going to cast a shadow this way all right I'm gonna since this is her thigh I'm gonna give it a nice gradual uh, shading get up small And we'll come back later and add some highlights. I'm just going to get the darks in first. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get a big brush, very soft. Just kind of fade her legs down into background. Keep it from feeling too... Uh, two-dimensional there, or like a the wrong shape for a leg. Okay. We're looking good. I think I'm going to block out her eyes and do a soft shading of her face down. So it's not so abrupt. All right. Now we're going to do some highlights. I'm going to go down a little bit brighter blue. I should say a little more green. And a lighter blue. We go with the harsh for this elbow. Um, all right. get some defined abs all right smaller That chin the most, maybe a little on the nose there. Soften those abs up just a little bit. Okay. Now for the hair. Uh, a little a little smaller brush. We want the top of it to be dark. The hair that's kind of drifting into the background to be dark. And it's going to be darkened by increasing the chroma in that color. And darkening it a little bit. If 
we're going to get that glowing effect by uh, keeping the chroma high as we go dark and that's very unnatural that's why it has that kind of ghostly glow effect glow in the dark almost Since this hair is back uh, being blocked by the light, I'm going to have it get dark down here. Now we're going to do some individual strands of hair. Help remind us that this is hair, not a massive object. kind of uh, tried to come up with my own style of uh, doing the hair or uh, shading hair try to come up with a little bit of a mix between manga and realism um. <clears throat> gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush now and go with white and get that kind of sheen. And get big sheen over here. Shireen sheen. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna get a little bit blue down here. Again, we're increasing the chroma as we get darker to help create a glow-in-the-dark effect. And I need to color this as fast as I can because it sounds like chaos upstairs. And I think somebody needs my help. Okay. Really give that get that blue in over here. Okay, a little bit of a gradual shading in here. Small. helps to get uh, a really fine brush sometimes and get in there with just little tiny sections of detail just enough to where it'll um, catch the eye and help uh, help the eye think or trick the eye into thinking oh this is detailed everywhere okay actually a little bit darker up this middle of the part and right there all right let's go uh, fix these little pinholes Not working in uh, super high resolution because uh, there are sites that you sell comics on that kind of penalize you for having super high resolution comics. It's nice to go with like a medium resolution uh, because you have to raise your prices actually the, the higher resolution you want to go because the site charges you more. Um, to uh, allow you to or allow users to download like big files 
They're saying, hey, that takes up our bandwidth. We're going to charge you more. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to switch brushes, do a more um, pressure-based brush. More of an airbrush kind of brush. All right. Got the toga going. Softer one. Now we're ready to move on to the next part. Almost done with this coloring job. And then we'll move on to the girls for the next video. Do like a hard light, hard edge, kind of showing the shadow. Not too much more. Okay, now we're going to take a lighter color, we're going to go down a little more green, actually a little more lighter, a little more green. <clears throat> spread this uh, light out some working with as many forms as we can okay Get really bright down here. Okay. And now we're moving on to, what do we got? I think we're done. Well, we got the underwear. Panties. <coughs> All right. We're gonna give them a kind of a very loose light shading. Okay. Um, I hate that I wasn't able to really capture form well with this underwear. Uh, it doesn't feel super correct, 
or accurate, super accurate, I think. But um, at least it prevents us from having a crotch. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna color this in dark since it's shaded. See kind of what that's like. And now we're gonna go in and give it some magical auras but I'll do that in the next video. So thanks for coming by and watching me color uh, Starte from Goddesses of Fertility. The comic is now out. Thanks. Bye.